Hey, I have a good one for you and me today. Today's the day that we make hell tremble. Let's go to uh, 1 John 3, starting in verse 7 and 8. It says, Little children, let no one deceive you. Whoever practices righteousness is righteous as he is righteous. Verse 8 says, Whoever makes a practice of sinning is of the devil, for the devil has been sinning from the beginning. Now, you know that if Jesus lives inside of your heart, then you are the righteousness of God in Christ. Now, I want to read the last part of the verse 8. I left that out on purpose. It says, The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the works of the devil. Here's the bottom line. is Satan has no power and no authority over you except for the power that you give him. I'm telling you, he needs to tremble when you're coming because the Word of God is so evident inside of your life that it flows out of your lips naturally. It's not something planned where you have to think, okay, um, I'm going to come across John here in a little bit, and I'm going to speak this verse to him. And there's nothing wrong with that, being prepared, somebody you've been you know, ministering to or loving on. But when you get to the point where the Word of God flows out of your heart so naturally without thinking about it, because in Matthew it says, from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And the enemy needs to fear you. You need to not fear the enemy. Because in Colossians 2.15, it says that Jesus openly made a show of the enemy. Now, we've been talking about that, and I want you encouraged. That's why I make these videos is for you to have something to preach to yourself. Because I am notorious for telling you know, my congregation and anybody that I minister to, the most important sermon you hear all week is not the sermon that I preach Sunday morning. Now, that is important, and I feel like that the word I, I sow in the name of Jesus is just that. It's from the, the inspiring of the Holy Spirit that I sow that good seed into those that listen. But the true test and the true sermon, it occurs on Monday, on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, when it's you looking at yourself in the mirror, preaching to yourself, preaching yourself victorious, preaching yourself happy, preaching yourself joyful, preaching yourself into a higher and higher level of faith. And the enemy wants nothing more than for you to not grab hold of this revelation that you hold the power, you hold the authority, you hold the dominion because Christ gave that power, authority, and dominion to you. So it's time that you make hell tremble. Amen. Man, I love you guys, and I want you to be inspired to be a city on a hill that can't be hit. To be inspired for your voice to, to, to go out into this earth and for that to serve the purpose you sent it to accomplish. And our purpose is to spread the kingdom. Amen. Man, I love you, and I'm excited about what God is doing in your life and in my life, and I want to do life together. So you press in, press forward, keep being victorious, and put the devil on the run. I love you.